It's a brush teepee. Come on. Weakest structure known to man. All right, what do we got going on here, Tim? What's happening? Checking out some brushes. Which ones? I honestly have no idea what that name is. Hold up. Here's my deal, because I've tried several of their brushes. So the, H, the HB is just a little... If you're going for a super soft sound, the HB works. That's the purple handled ones. This is my favorite brush they make. It's the Legacy brush, and it feels like a drumstick. So, and the bristles... The bristles are in between the HB and the sweep of the... Uh, these? Peter Erskine, maybe? Peter Erskine, maybe? maybe. maybe. Um, they're in between that, but they would be more towards this one. They're kind of firm, but I like them because they've got this part, so you, you don't get the harsh, abrasive sound you get with this one. And these split. I don't, I don't like I don't like these. These are my least favorite. But these, they're money, man. They feel like a drumstick, and they've got the, the, the other down there. And they've got some other cool stuff right here. The, uh, <laughs> so I got complimented by a uh, guitar player the other day when I was playing with him. These are the Steve Smith Talawans, and on the inside, they've got a uh, they've got a rubber cord. And these are really cool because they're articulate, but they also have the rebound of a stick, so it's not that dead the deadness you get with maybe one of these. And they make another Talawan, this one that's a little bit more substantial. I take that purple one, man. That's the dumbest way to go. We're gonna talk about brushes. So you saw a lot of types of brushes, uh, obviously in those clips from from Pasic, Pasic, however you want to say it. Um, but I got to check out all of their full. That's one of the things I love about going to Pasic. If you've never been, you get a chance to go. You should go um, because you get to check out just all of the stuff. So um, I got to check out all of the new brushes that they had and everything from Vic Firth, who I am with. Um, and so. I wanted to kind of go over some of them that I've had for, for quite a while and my favorites and which ones I like and which ones I don't like. So I used to use, um, I went through two pairs of just the regular Vic Firth wire brushes with the white plastic sheath. Um, they're probably my least favorite to use even though I used, I went through two pairs. I didn't know there were any more, you know, like I didn't own a computer. I didn't know I had more options. I thought that was all. That's like what the local music store had. So I'm like, oh, well, that must be all they make. Um, and so I used two of those. I don't like them because I, I had one, uh, if you play brushes, they're eventually going to let go on the inside and, and break, especially if you're playing a lot of train beats or, or grooves with them and, and accenting. Um, they're made for swishing, not necessarily for, for hitting. So I, I went through a couple of pairs of those, and one of them I actually cracked the, the plastic, and then it just sounded bad. And whenever you'd hit a rim, it would sound bad. Like if you tried to do something like that, it would just it would just not sound good. So um, I like the, the the options I have now much better. So I kind of go through them, and what's the difference of them? And uh, so we have first these are the Steve Gad version these will be a, a, a more I'll give you playing examples by the way this would be the medium gauge that I have so the gauge is the wires and obviously you can adjust the different uh, the thicknesses and and the different uh, sounds you get by adjusting this so a lot of Vic Firth um, uh, a lot of their brushes come with the triple flange on them and so it's it's bumps right here so that you can set them you can set each one to the first bump or the second bump whatever that may be if you want a full fan the Steve Gadwire brushes solve the problem of at the end of it and I'll show you kind of this camera if you can see I'll bunch them together at the end of it you can see they're kind of bent back a little bit and so what that does they're bent this way and what that does is that allows you not to snag the drum head whenever you place it down. And so I, I dig that about them. But if you grab them the wrong way, then it's even worse. So I don't dig that about them. But I do like them, and I've used them for a few years now. Uh, and I'll give you a plain example. But they're just they're real smooth, uh, medium gauge wire brushes. And I love the fact that I can lay them down like that, and they don't snag unless I grab them wrong, and then they snag worse than they've ever snagged. So... 
we've solved a problem and created another one. Uh, this is going to be the lightest gauge. I like all of these brushes, by the way. Um, I use them for different sources. This is going to be the lightest gauge I have, so the thinnest type of a brush. Um, and it is going to be the HB. And so I think they call it the heritage brush. So really light sound. If you were going to be playing a lot of a lot of like actually hitting the drum with this, these wouldn't be great because they're just not very, uh, they're, they're, they're not made for that. But in a light jazz setting, it, these would be great. Again, the triple flange deal at the end. Um, that's the official name for it, triple flange deal. And, uh, and so yeah, these sound great too. I love them, they are a softer sound, so I use them in softer environments. My favorites, my fave, uh, is going to be uh, the Vic Firth Legacy brushes. The reason I like them so much is because of the feel. It's actually a real drumstick, and I enjoy that. I never did enjoy going to actually a different feel for my brushes. I always en enjoy the drumsticks. This is a like a drumstick with brushes on it. Oh, by the way, I play traditional grip whenever I'm playing brushes because I learned that way, and I didn't want to reteach myself my brush technique. So, you know, learning to play different with match grip was one thing, but I wasn't about to learn sweeping and everything again. Just... <laughs> Too much trouble. These are going to be the stiffest brushes I have, and so they're they're much thicker uh, than the others. Still not too thick, but they're great for pop settings as well as as uh, different jazz settings. And so um, I love them because they have the rubber at the end of it as well as the wooden the wooden stick there. So I'll kind of give you uh, some sound samples of them, and I'll also uh, kind of uh, give you uh, an A B comparison. Play one in one hand and another in the other hand, so you can hear what they sound like. So we'll start with the H B and go to the Steve Gads, and then go to the Legacies, and then I'll mix and match them. Oh, I meant to tell you that the Legacy brushes don't have the triple flange on the end. Um, I guess they've got a different mechanism that lets you do that, so.
So again, that's just kind of an overview of some of the different brushes uh, and options you have. That's what you're going to want to be looking for is the really the handle style. Is it rubber? Is it wood? Is it plastic? The gauge of the uh, of the of the brushes, and then also some of them they're making a left hand brush and a right hand brush, and they've got split brushes. Lots of different options, but those are I keep these three uh, in my stick bag so that I can have different options. But if I if I'm just like running out to a gig and I'm grabbing one of them, I'm going to be grabbing these legacy brushes because I like them. I just like the feel of them the best, having having the wood handle. So anyway, that's an overview. Let me know in the comment section what you think. What is your favorite brush? I want to know about. It as well. Uh, click that thumbs up button if this helped you. Share it with somebody you think it may help. And subscribe to the channel if you're not doing that because I'm putting out a ton of content. So, no matter what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.